I am Mr. Ismail Jizuri from Sudan. I joined IPCC at 2002 at Vice Chair of Working Group 3 and elected again in 2007 at the same group. But at 2010, as I've been elected as the Vice Chair of IPCC. These 25 years, as I said, is very rewarding to me and to IPC itself. 25 years for IPC now is grown, but there are major achievements since the first assessment report, which uh, brings the, the UNFCC or the, the United Nations Framework Convention into approval uh, as a result of that first assessment. The second assessment report brought uh, Kyoto Protocol. The third and fourth assessment, the third assessment report brought these regional issues. And the fourth assessment got a uh, Nobel Peace Prize jointly with Al, Al, Al Gore. And this is a very good achievement for a scientific uh, body to be recognized by this uh, uh, respectable uh, prize. IPC also help developing country and especially uh, least developing countries in having this scholarship program. Although it is very small, but it helps uh, these developing countries, the, their young scientists, to have more courses so as to be f the future, uh, future uh, IPCC lead authors. The future of IPCC, I think uh, uh, now 25 years ago, the UNFCC has to think what areas should she concentrate, because now the picture is clear for us. We have to concentrate in certain issues, whether at the level of a region, regional aspects, whether uh, looking into more suspicious issues like sustainable development uh, uh, and uh, they should concentrate on, on more specific issues rather than general reports like now. This is, what, this is a personal view, but this does not mean that they neglect the national reports, the, 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 their assessment but look in more uh, specific uh, issues and more uh, vulnerable uh, areas or sectors. These reports, as I said, they have a lot of impact on uh, this climate change issue. As IPCC is getting these scientific results, have a very important input in the, in the negotiation uh, process there at United Nations Framework Convention. And the, uh, being uh, the technical and scientific advisor to the convention, we have a lot of impact on their decisions using these, uh, our assessment uh, results. As you know, this IPCC work is for me, it is a process, and I learned a lot. Uh, if I look back in 2002 and now, 2013, there are a lot of water run under the bridge. So uh, there are many things I learned. I have a lot of contacts all over the world with different scientists, and uh, uh, I shared my knowledge with them. I conveyed part of IPCC knowledge to my colleague back in Sudan and in Africa, as I am representing Africa. And I think this is a very rewarding thing to me.